Rapper Eminem, na een aantal jaren van afwezigheid, is die back met een nieuw album. Ja, Recovery, heel toepasselijk, want het is het eerste album wat hij helemaal drugsvrij heeft opgenomen. En dat hoor je ook echt. Eminem verovert met zijn nieuwe single Not Afraid, de eerste plek in de Billboard Top 100. Een samenwerking met Rihanna erbij en iedereen weet weer wat zijn naam is. I was in a pretty dark place, you know, for the last few years. I just wanted to take a break and pull back from the spotlight, you know, mm -hmm. for a little bit. And I figured that by producing records, I, it, it would help me to still be able to make music. So I'd still kind of have my outlet and still, you know, be away from the spotlight. Tijdens de filmopnames van The 8 Mile in 2005 raakte Eminem verslaafd aan slaappillen. Als de rapper daarna meteen doorgaat met een album tournee, glijdt hij steeds verder af. Ik never would bring the shit with me. I would never, you know what I mean? Like I wasn't, it wasn't like me and the entourage carried a bunch of drugs with us. It was everywhere I went. Yo, M, I got a bag of mushrooms. Yo, M, I got some E. Yo, M. And liquor was always on the road with us. You know what I mean? But it just, it went from somewhere. It went from the party atmosphere into me getting into the habit of drinking before every show. And honestly, I really didn't take drugs until I started rapping about them. And I just can't keep living this way. Ook op zijn nieuwe album Recovery is geen enkele celeb veilig voor de venijnige raps van Slim Shady. Het alter ego van Eminem is harder dan ooit. And I think that it allows me to have an excuse to be an asshole. Like, ah, oh, should I say this? Should I not? Uh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to, like creatively just flow free and just be able to whatever I'm thinking if it's funny if it's mean if it's happy whatever it may be I just want to say it as far as like Kim Kardashian or any of the people that may get poked fun at on this record um, it's obviously it's not personal it's not meant to be a personal attack i've never met these people and if your name happens to rhyme with something good then you may get it als de wereld vergaat en M's nieuwe album over duizenden jaren uit de puinhopen wordt getrokken is er slechts één conclusie mogelijk over het slim shady tijdperk we lived in a fucking great time yeah yeah what was so great about it well i don't know if it was the fact that i was here mm -hmm. is probably the best thing